Hello mga students, pag-usapan natin sa video lecture na ito yung accounting implications okay, sa isang lean manufacturing environment. You know, kasi when we are applying the lean manufacturing concept in manufacturing, may mga implications po ito sa accounting. Kasi meron tayong mga tradition, syempre your traditional ano no, accounting system or the traditional manufacturing accounting usually does not uh, cater to the needs of the lean manufacturing environment. Halimbawa, etong mga makikita po ninyo dito ng mga check, ito yung mga information, okay? methods and information na kinakailangan sa lean manufacturing na hindi na meet ng traditional manufacturing. So for example, sa lean manufacturing kasi, pinapakita po dito kung ano yung importante sa mga customers, yung quality at saka yung service, no? Hindi po 'yan na ipapakita, no, sa ating traditional manufacturing. It also identifies profitable products and profitable customers. What else? It identifies the opportunities for improvement in operations and products. It also encourages the adoption of value-added activities and processes within the organization and identifies those that do not add value. So dito yung mga value-added ano, activities yung pinag-uusapan naman natin. And also, efficiently supports multiple users with both the financial and non-financial information. Pag traditional standard costing kasi yung ginagamit natin, medyo restricted, medyo limited lang yung information na maipo-provide nito. At saka iba yung ano kasi nila no, kubaga in terms of the focus, iba as compared sa lean manufacturing. So ano ba kasi ang problema natin pagdating sa traditional manufacturing? You have the following. Your inaccurate cost allocation, its promotion of non-lean behavior, the time lag and then the financial operations. Bakit? Oh, sa traditional manufacturing kasi, uh, applying the standard costing procedures, ang emphasis kasi nito is on the financial performance rather than manufacturing performance. So, syempre, pag financial performance yung pinag-uusapan, ang concern natin dyan mga figures, more of allocation talaga, no? ng mga, especially because manufacturing yan, more of mga overhead costs yung mga pinag-uusapan natin dito. So how do we allocate them? No? Mga standard costing techniques na yon, it emphasizes financial performance. Pero sa lean manufacturing kasi, manufacturing performance yan. Okay, and going back dito, hindi lamang po yung manufacturing per se, pero in terms of the quality, the service, no? yung mga tao, okay? uh, application of technology, yung system, yun yung focus ng ating lean manufacturing. So that the techniques and conventions na ginagamit sa traditional manufacturing, hindi po nito nasusuportahan yung mga objectives ng lean manufacturing companies. So ito po ang mga nasa site natin na deficiency ano, sa standard accounting system. Una, pag-usapan natin itong inaccurate cost allocation. Ah, di ba doon sa pinag-usapan natin sa previous video lecture sa uh, tawag nito sa CIM makikita ninyo or meron tayong ano no not sorry not the CIM pero yung uh, tawag nito evolution kumbaga no from the traditional manufacturing setup and then papunta sa island of technology and then your CIM pag tinignan natin yung ating mga product costs okay Siyempre, alam naman natin na coming from the cost accounting perspective, no, we have your direct labor, you have your materials, and then your overhead. At yung overhead na yan, madami po yan. Pagdating sa traditional, malaki yung ating direct labor. Okay? Mas malaki po ano, ang emphasis natin dito sa direct labor. Pero as we go on, we apply technology and we automate the manufacturing processes. Pagdating mo dito sa CIM, makikita mo ano, yung direct labor halos na eliminate na. Tapos lumaki na ngayon ang ating overhead. So halos nangalahati ano, yung overhead cost because automated na kasi tayo dito. Eh. ba diba, application ng robotics, ng CAD, ng CAM, ARSR. No? If you forget what I'm talking about, 
balik lang kayo ng isang video before. Because syempre, yung engineering mo, yung technology mo, ina-apply na natin doon sa production. So that instead of a lot of people ano, na nagtatrabaho and malaki yung ating direct labor, nabababa na, no? nawawala na halos. Kasi di ba ang target natin, effectiveness and efficiency. Mabawasan yung mga errors. At yung errors ay commonly na-associate natin ito dahil meron tayong mga human or manual intervention. So, kung nag-retain natin, kung tayo ay nasa lean manufacturing, which is nandirito ito normally, eh kung ang ginagamit natin sa accounting aspect is yung standard costing, eh may problema tayo dyan. Hindi siya magkakaroon ng tamang cost allocation. Kasi, kumbaga, ito pa rin yung gagamitin natin. Therefore, we have this inaccurate cost allocation. Now, pagdating naman dito sa pangalawang problema, yung it promotes non-lean behavior, oh, let, me, let me just read it to you before I explain. A standard costing motivates non-lean behavior in operations. No? The primary performance measurement used in standard costing ay ano, oh, personal efficiency and Uh, sorry, personal efficiency of production workers, effective utilization of manufacturing facilities, and the degree of overhead absorbed by production. Yan po yung tatlo. Oh, efficient ba yung mga workers? Namamaximize ba natin yung paggamit ng mga facilities? And then, oh, yung overhead no, na inaabsorb sa production. In addition, bilang karagdagan, ang standard costing, it conceals waste. E eh di ba, ang ating target sa lean manufacturing, no? waste reduction. If we cannot eliminate the waste, we minimize the waste no? within the overhead allocations and it's difficult to detect. So medyo mahirap ano, kasi na-absorb siya. To improve their personal performance measure, management and operations employees are inclined to produce large batches of products and build inventories. This built-in motivation is in conflict with lean manufacturing. Kasi going back to the previous video lectures, nagkakaroon tayo ng overproduction dito sa ating traditional manufacturing setup. Nagpo-produce tayo ng mga large batches of inventories, no? of, uh, of products, sorry. Uh, tama naman, inventories, finished goods na nga lang ito. So yun yung nagiging problema natin. No? Hindi kasi siya, promote, uh, hindi siya nagpo-promote ng non-lean behavior. Eh di ba nga, ang target ng lean manufacturing, well, applying your just-in-time concept, di ba? Uh, we only produce what we need. Okay? We focus on the demand, not on the supply. So dito, sa traditional manufacturing, it's more of the supply. Kaya meron tayong overproduction. Next, time lag naman. Standard cost data for management, uh, management reporting are historic in nature. Data lag behind the actual manufacturing activities on the assumption that control can be applied after the fact to correct errors. O kasi di ba, meron tayong mga corrective errors na pinag-uusapan, di ba? Ah, corrective errors. Corrective controls. Applying the PDC model, no? Preventive, detective, corrective. Pero sa lean setting, kinakailangan agad malaman ng mga managers on the ground, no? Mga shop floor managers kung ano-ano yung mga abnormal deviations, kung meron man, para magkaroon agad sila ng uh, immediate information. Kasi kinakailangan nila, in real time, may mga machine ano ba, breakdown, may robots ba na mga out of control, okay, may mga down ba, ano, may mga siral ba tayong mga makinarya. Ano na, no? it may be too late for an after-the-fact information. So sa standard costing kasi pwede pa itong makorek no? para ma-minimize yung mga errors. Pero sa ating lean manufacturing ano, setup, hindi po pwede yon Kinakailangan real-time yung information. And then last, oh, financial operation. Accounting data use peso or dollar. O, syempre, dahil foreign author ang gamit natin, dollar yon Nilagyan ko na lang ng uh, peso. Ano? Uh, being the standard unit of measure. Para saan? For comparing disparate. Uh, disparate items being evaluated. Okay? Now, decisions pertaining the functionality of a product or process, improving product quality and shortening delivery time, however, are not necessarily well served by financial information 
produced through standard cost techniques. Okay, so hindi lang naman kasi ano no, mga monetary amounts yung kinakailangan natin. We also have to decide no on oh, functioning ba, functional ba yung ating mga products o yung ating mga processes. Paano ba natin ma-improve yung product quality? Eh, hindi naman yan masasagot ng amounts, no? Paano ba natin masusorten yung delivery time? Those are non-financial information, ano, that not necessarily that are not necessarily served by financial information na pinoproduce ng standard cost techniques. So yun ang nagiging problema. Kasi nga sa tra sa traditional accounting information, financial performance yung pinag-uusapan, yun yung orientation. Whereas pagdating sa manufacturing, uh, I mean sa lean manufacturing, ang orientation we are leaning towards manufacturing ano, uh, manufacturing efficiency. This one ano, balikan ko lang. Manufacturing performance. Okay? So hanggang dito muna tayo sa video lecture na ito. And I hope na nasundan ninyo ano kung medyo may mga nag stutter ako sometimes at medyo nagugulo ano yung aking explanation. Pero sana malinaw in general pero let me know na lang kung meron kayong mga katanungan. I'll see you sa part 7 ng ating video lecture on chapter 7, The Conversion Cycle. Bye-bye!